We good. We, we gotta address some shit. Okay, one, two, three. Damn, it's like four niggas in here with white girls sitting up front. The nerve of you motherfuckers. Ain't this black history, man? What the fuck is you niggas doing? What the fuck is you niggas doing? Why are you standing up, bitch? Where your man at? What happened? They got them all. Well, bitch, yelling like that, you ain't gonna get it, brother. <laughs> I gotta ask. So, sweetheart, you got a Negro, so I gotta ask. Y'all probably have great sex. Do y'all role play at all? Do you role play? No? You don't play Escape Slave and the Master's Wife? That shit's... You got to hurry up, nigga. You on the clock. You got a white girl. You got to take advantage. Halloween, you got to dress up like OJ and hide in the closet with a butcher knife skin. Ah! Bitch, where you been? I love you. Oh, this white boy got a black girl. Okay, motherfucker, that's what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, stand up, nigga, stand up. No, look, the black woman said yes, motherfucker. Yes. Yes. This nigga pays car notes and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm gonna let you know, you heard me say it, I don't want nobody to get upset or offended because I say the word nigga in my show because the fact of the matter is I say it because white people, I know y'all say it. <laughs> don't tell me when y'all at home watching 11 o'clock news and you hear about some of the stupid shit that black people do. Y'all are going, oh my God, these African Americans. <laughs> You're like, honey, look at these crazy niggas. Time out, look at this ignorant nigga here. This nigga got a fish tank for a wine glass. Barack Obama didn't change shit. We thought shit was gonna be different. Nigga, that's Kool-Aid, look, you can't even walk. Look at this nigga here. That's what I love about that. Look, look how uncomfortable this white dude is. It's like, oh my God, I've seen it on TV, but I never thought I'd sit this close. <laughs> Don't worry about that dog, he's straight. If he start pulling a knife or something, then you run. But otherwise, matter of fact, let me talk to this nigga for a minute. Pardon me. Um, Bugulum bungala. Bundayo bumwai. You straight, you straight. <laughs> you know, it's funny, because when I went to go vote, white people would ask me, so who you voting for? Who the fuck you think? Well, do you care about his politics? I don't give a fuck. Do you like him personally? I don't know the nigga. He black, I'm black, I'm both for the black guy. <laughs> fuck that, we might not get this chance for another 40 years. Gary Coleman could have been running and I'd have voted for that nigga. I'd have been in the booth and the world don't move. And I know there were white people that got upset about that. I heard you talk about it. I think it's wrong that black people will vote for him for because he's black. They should vote for the right reasons. Well, I look at it like this. From George Washington to George Bush, every president that this country has seen has been white. My thing is, let's just get the first nigga in there. After the next one, I'll get the right one in there for the right reasons. But let's get the first nigga in there. Because this shit was bigger than Barack. Man, think about the message that this sends to every little black boy in the country. That you can make it in this country without just being a rapper or an athlete. You can be president of the United fucking States. I gotta get behind that. We can finally scratch that off the black to-do list. Like rapper, check. Athlete, check. Black president, about fucking time, check. Next up, Olympic swimming. Michael Phelps, we coming. Watch your motherfucking back. As soon as they learn how to heat that water up, nigga, we are in there. We coming. And I'm not just here to tell jokes. I actually want to give back. I want to help white people. I want to be like y'all's black Dr. Phil. Because comics, we don't do much when we're on the road. We stay in the hotel room and watch TV. And I'm flipping through the channels, and I'm watching these, some of these programs like Oprah and Phil, and I'm noticing some of y'all's kids is out of fucking control. I really want to ask white people, why don't y'all beat y'all kids? Beat them, whoop they motherfucking ass. Y'all give y'all kids all kind of timeouts and special places. What the fuck is a special place? To a black child, that's a coma. What is a special place? Black kids don't know shit about time out. We know about getting knocked the fuck out, that's it. My mother used to slap the shit out of me in public and I would look at people for help. Like, shut up. <gasps> <sighs> 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 
White people felt my pain. Oh my God. She just struck her child. Black people see black kids get hit. We like, hey, hey. Get your shit together. You know what I found out growing up totally shocked me? White kids are just as shocked to find out black kids don't talk back to their parents as we are when we hear them talk back to theirs. Because I used to have a little buddy would come over my house on the weekends, a little Nate. We'd be in my room playing video games. My mother used to come in the room on us and cuss me out for no reason. Just scare the shit out of both of us, right? We'd be in the room playing Mario Brothers. She'd come kick open the door like SWAT. We on level four, she just Harry, how many times I done told you to clean this motherfucking room? Cut that goddamn game off and clean this room. I come back, this motherfucking room ain't clean. I'ma take that Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck and stick it in your ass. Nigga, I ain't playing with you. This ain't no threat. This a promise. Try me, motherfucker. Try me. My white friend would turn to me offended like, dude, what the fuck? She can't do that, man. This is your space. This is your area. She's violating your right to privacy. You should say something. You want me to go say something? I'd be so scared. I started talking to him like a slave from Roots, like, you was gonna get me's in troubles. I like you, Nate. I really do. But my parents is good black folk that gives me food, that gives me sleeps. Now you get away from around here with that foolishness. Get from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, Lord. <laughs> My mother smacked the shit out of the white boy. He turned into me. Wait in the water. Mm. <laughs> it's crucial, man. 